Hi, this is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another special screencast. Today we're talking about how to perform calculations on time. Now that could be taken a couple of ways, but what I mean is very literally, how do I perform a calculation on, on the time of day? So when I was designing my very first timesheet ever, that's when I was first presented with this challenge. And I'll give you an example of what I encountered. Let's say I want to start at 8 a.m. and I want to take a break for lunch at 12 p.m. And I want to figure out what that difference is so that I can apply that to a rate and figure out how much money I, I need to be paid for that time. I can type an equal sign. I point to the 12 noon minus the 8 a.m. And hopefully I would get a result that gives me something meaningful that I can apply to a rate and figure out a dollar amount. Well, I don't. Initially, I get the formatting, first of all, in terms of the source, which is a time format. I can reformat that as a decimal. But as you'll see, I still don't get anything meaningful. What I'm really looking to get here is something that represents four hours of time. I really want this in terms of hours. So when I'm creating a timesheet, it presents some challenges in that area. And what you're looking at is the timesheet that I actually use when I send out my bookkeepers to clients. And they fill this out. And the challenging part was figuring out these formulas here that calculate the total hours so I could apply that to the rate to come up with the total dollars. And as you'll see, if I put 8 a.m. here to come in, go out for lunch at 12 p.m., come back from lunch at 1 p.m., and then clock out for the day at 5 p.m., it figures everything out for me. It comes up with the eight hours. So the question is, how do I do that? How do we perform calculations on time? The answer is actually pretty simple. But you have to know a little something about math. What Excel does is it puts time in terms of base 24. There's 24 hours in a day. So in order to convert this to a proper number of minutes, I have to take the result and multiply that by 24. And notice right away, I get my answer. I get my four hours. That puts it in terms of hours right away. So that's exactly what I need to do. And that's all there is to it. I simply take the difference between the ending time and the starting time and multiply that by 24 to get the hour. Then if I put in a rate, of course, I can say equals, take the total hours, times the rate, and that's the amount of money that gets paid for that amount of time, four hours, at this rate, $65. Of course, if I update this and say, well, let's make this till 5 p.m., it will update to $585, because now it's nine hours at $65. Now, the other question that comes up is, what happens if I go past midnight? Well, Excel recognizes a specific day. So in the context of a timesheet like this, we're looking at a specific date. So if I'm using this, and I, let's say, and I believe it or not, I have bookkeepers that have done this. They work past midnight. They start late at night. They work in the wee hours. And the one bookkeeper that I have that loves to do this knows I'm talking about her. She'll probably laugh when she sees this. But if she starts, let's say, at 9 p.m. and goes until 2 a.m., we have a problem. Because Excel doesn't, Excel's, you take an Excel into another day, so it's looking at 2 p.m. on the same day, so it's trying to go backwards in time. So we can't do that. So here's how I resolve that issue. We go to 11.59 p.m., and in order to even it out, I just make this 8.59 p.m., because now the next day, we start at midnight, 12 a.m., and go till 2 a.m., that's how you have to deal with crossing over into another day. And this way, it's literally spelled out correctly because I, from midnight till 2 a.m., the work was done on the 21st here, not on the 20th. So that's something important to keep in mind if you're going to lay out a timesheet. If you'd like to purchase this timesheet as a template to use so you can change it and customize it to suit your own needs, I'll put it up in my knowledge center completely unprotected. You can change the formulas. You can rewrite the formulas. You can reformat the sheet. You can do whatever you want to it. I'm not going to protect anything on it. There's nothing that secretive in here. I will simply put it up in my knowledge center. I'll put the link wherever I put this video. Feel free to go download it. And I'm sure that by the time I've got it up in my knowledge center, I will have it set at a low, low price. If you have any questions, as always, email me, set at nerdenterprises.com. If you'd like additional training, give me a call, 866-945-8070. And also, I ask, please help me out. If you like my free tutorials, you can help me out, return the favor, 
by posting your comments. Post your comments on the blog if you're watching this on the blog. Post it on the video directly on YouTube if you're watching it on YouTube. That will really help me because then YouTube will actually think that my videos are popular and they will start promoting them for me. That helps me. So I helped you. Maybe you can help me return the favor. As always, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I do look forward to seeing you.